welcome to Hartley Cars and welcome to sunny Wigan or should I say a windy sunny Wigan today. Uh, here we have another presentation of our BMW E46 uh, with one private owner, great provenance, discs and pads both front and rear are in really strong condition, I don't even think there's a lip on them. Bridgestone tyres match in both front and rear and are in new condition as are the alloy wheels and detailed calipers, of course we did them. Nice specification including the windbreak and the hard top, so please check out the pictures. And the hard top's really preserved this soft top really, really well, so the mechanism and the actual quality of the hard top, sorry, quality of the soft top, which when you check it out, uh, if the sun, if once the, once the roof's dry, if you just check it out and there's a sheen on it, then that means that it's been kept in very good condition. If it's a bit dull and matte, then it means it's been treated with something it shouldn't have been treated with. But this has got that nice new sheen to it. It's not without its little marks, but it's in really, really good condition. Uh, as is the car, we've done a sealant protection on the interior. Uh, spoke to the previous owner that's owned it practically from new, bought it from the dealer. Very nice middle-aged gentleman, engineering chap. Uh, and he'd been able to fill me in with anything that I wasn't aware of. So I like to get good provenance and a good understanding about the car. So of course, cruise control, uh, automatic headlamps, heated seats, which of course is a must on these. But quite rare to get one in a diesel format, which you can daily or take on long distance runs with the hard top and the windbreak. And yeah, I think you do have to pay a bit of a premium for that folks. Uh, as a customer quite rightly pointed out to me, I could find a very, very there's only I think 13 of these available in the UK in diesel format uh, with this kind of specification. But as a customer quite rightly pointed out, well, I can go buy one for £6,500, £6,250. And he presented the car to me, and yes, you can do that, but you'd be the eighth owner with a dodgy second hand market, aftermarket stereo in it. and no backup or security or warranty. Uh, yeah, and you've got to rely on whether the customers or the person that's selling the car, should I say, is actually telling the truth. Uh, so are you paying a premium for this one? Six to six and a half thousand pounds versus another 1,500 pounds, 1,750 pounds. You get one owner with 10 to 20,000 miles less with a hard top, with this specification and the windbreak and it a one private owner, and two keys, and new bridge stones, and strong, nearly new discs and pads, front and rear. I don't think you are, uh, but I'll let you decide. And this particular chap, really nice guy actually, quite a forthright gentleman, and you'll know you are because you'll be watching this video, no doubt. Uh, we'll buy one of these cars at some point. Maybe he'll buy the, mine after this, who knows? Uh, but we do specialize in long distance selling, and what that basically means is transparency and honesty and there's a car salesman cliche for you if I've ever heard one but I don't want you to come all of this way to check out a vehicle that has been misdescribed so if you want to take the time and effort to speak with us about this E46 or any other car for that matter please just put that little bit of extra effort in and we'd be more than happy to give you a detailed version of this particular video and walk around pointing out its quirks its features what we like what we don't like uh, but so far great the three litre diesel is really really flexible it's a turbo version it's not been remapped it's completely stock but super super refined is this straight six uh, and i think that if you're going to daily one of these cars and it's a soft top convertible but you've got a hard top which protects the soft top convertible in the winter months it's a car that you can use all year round and they're not going down in price these guys folks cars folks i mean the four cylinder ones are a bit hopeless the Peugeot engine version. Having said that, the E46 back in June 2004 is the only brand new car I've ever bought, and it was a four cylinder one. But we had it 12 years and it was regularly serviced. Uh, and I'm quite a car freak, so I made sure that it was regularly serviced and it did suit us very, very well indeed. But an eight owner car, four cylinder, two litre, just stay away from them, folks. They're just not worth the hassle, quite frankly. Uh, but I had good luck with mine. I mean, it didn't, it, it didn't come without it having its little dramas, car packs failing and stuff, but that's just normal cars. But back to this one more importantly. 
Uh, yeah, mechanically superb, pulls very, very strong. A very quiet, refined diesel engine on this car, folks. So uh, if you're considering a petrol version and you're only going to use it at the weekends, I would consider maybe the 2.5 straight six or even the three litre petrol if you're going to do 1,000 mile a year in it, do it. But if you want the best all rounder with hard top and windbreak, heated seats in this guy's spec, two keys, great provenance, this is probably the car to purchase if you've got this price point with inside your budget. If you've got six grand, go for it. Just go and chance them, you know. They're pretty good cars to be fair, folks. Uh, reminiscent of all 2004, 2005 cars, 2006, you've got to check out where the rust might sit. This is quite a straight car, actually. They normally sit at the bottom of the wheel arches. As you can see, ours is in really good order, to say the least. And I know that this is what you're thinking, folks, especially for you E46 fans out there like me. Has it got any rust? Well, it's a great question because I'd ask exactly the same thing. Ours feels very, very straight indeed. But it's not perfect. It's not a new car. It's over 15 years old. Uh, but it's definitely next door neighbour proof. And we'd say it's grey day and the way that the, the, the traders generally tend to find that when they pick up cars from auctions is grey day would be from two metres which I call next door neighbour proof and yeah I hope this has been informative I'm more than happy to shoot more videos for you